Well, buddy, listen, these guys would turn heel and, uh, would you agree that was probably the best thing that happened to them was just was becoming that heel faction? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. It gave them a, a it almost gave them a fresh start. You know, uh and I think most wrestlers that I can r- relate to or talk to or reminisce about enjoy being heels more than they enjoy being baby faces. Hence the creative at WrestleMania 17 where Austin turned heel which is ill fated to start with. It's like making John Wayne and, in a, in a, in a cast him in a role in a movie as a Nazi, that ain't gonna work. So uh, this guy was beloved and then you re- evaluate, you, then you underscore his value, but he was beloved and to change that persona makes no sense. At least it didn't to me. And we've talked about that before. So, but those guys being heels kind of fit their little edgy personality because collectively they seem to always walk around in a good way now with a little chip on their shoulder because of what they had to do, how many steps they had to take to get to their destination here in WWE at that time. So, uh, yeah, heels, it was a good, I thought that was a nice move. Do you remember if that was kind of the plan all along Jr. when they got first brought in, Hey, we'll bring him in, but then we're going to. We're going to make him heal a heel. I don't think it was a plan all along. I think you were, you, you probably, you bring guys in, you see how they acclimate to the locker room. You see how they acclimate to the travel. Uh, you see how they adjust and have they upped their game or do they come in status quo? I'm really good right now. I don't need to do anything extra. That type of thing. You have to step back and evaluate, observe how everything's evolving. And, uh, so what you do is you observe and you make pass a, make a decision. Are these guys better off being heels? Well, the collective uh, sentiment of that was, yeah, we think at this time as a quartet, as a group, they're better off, uh, as a heel group. So that's, that's, that's why we went that way. I mean, you only got two, two sides of the fence. You got a baby face side and a heel side, uh, and I don't want to hear that shit about a tweener tweeners don't draw money. Tell me, give me a list of five tweeners that's drawn a lot of money. It just, you, cause you gotta make that. You want the audience to declare pro, uh, a, a, as a, you want to declare as a, they in, in, are intrigued by this, this antagonist heel, or they're curious and want to know more about this up and upstart courageous baby face. That's right. Give me all the love or give me all the hate. Yeah. That's, that's how it works.